Well, look at this picture uh, shared uh, with uh, us by our good friend Lorenzo Cerna here at Fox 4. This is what we call sun dogs or uh, mock suns there. The, the main sun, obviously, right in the middle. And this occurs when the sunshine especially is kind of low on the horizon here. You've got all these uh, cirrus clouds composed of ice crystals, and they're oriented horizontally, and they're falling very, very slowly. And because of that, uh, the actual ice crystals act as prisms, and you get a colored spot or a sun dog on either side of the sun here. And this was a perfect, picture-perfect example of that uh, late this afternoon over the skies of North Texas. Well, fall is going to slowly return here as we head through the next uh, few days. We soared to 98 degrees yesterday. That tied a record high, 91 today. Still feeling summer-like through Friday, and then the cold front will drop us down into the 70s on Saturday here, feeling like fall by the weekend. Got to point this out here. Pollen count today was a record for ragweed. Over 3,800 the total pollen count. Much of that due to ragweed. Air quality good, and the UV index was high at 6. Currently, we're in the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees here. Winds are blowing out of the southeast at 15. That's got our dew point up to 67, and the pressure at 29.93. So overnight tonight, increasing cloud cover. Low temperatures generally only falling uh, into the 70 to 74 degree range. And then tomorrow afternoon will be warm and muggy with afternoon highs right up around 90 degrees. Look at the deficit now in the rainfall department. We're over 11 inches below normal. So it's a good thing that we've got not one, but two pretty decent rain chances upcoming here. And one of the reasons why moisture that will continue to stream eastward courtesy of what's left of Simon here and you can see the widespread showers and even some thunderstorms across the desert southwest at this point in time and I'll pinpoint two different time periods here when I think we see our best chance of rain. One will be Friday night into early Saturday morning at about 60%. We'll start to dry it out Saturday afternoon. Sunday only a low rain chance, but then again, Sunday night and Monday morning will ramp those rain chances back up to at least 50%. So future cast showing mainly dry conditions tomorrow and through much of Friday afternoon. But here comes that strong cold front that'll kick off a line of showers and thunderstorms that push in here Friday night into Saturday morning. And behind this front, much cooler air will be pushing in from the north and west. In fact, uh, that cool air will be felt out of the Cotton Bowl this weekend. Uh, there will be a good rain chance, especially early on in the morning with temperatures in the 60s. But I think we'll cut those rain chances in half by 1 o'clock in the afternoon down to 30% with temperatures by then in the low 70s. And then here comes our bonus, a second front, a second chance of rain and thunderstorms Sunday night into Monday morning, along with another push of cooler air that you will feel early next week. Here's your full warn AccuWeather seven day forecast 90 tomorrow's high 89 on Friday. Again, small rain chances for the next couple of days until Friday night, Friday night, Saturday morning. Looks like one good chance of rain 75 Saturday's high and then renewed rain chances Sunday night into Monday morning. Monday's high 75 Tuesday looks beautiful and 79 degrees.